Hello, everybody. It's time for another gripping Portal 2 tutorial. So this one is just on aerial faith plates, catapults, you know, you go up, you fly around, all that sort of stuff. I wasn't going to make a tutorial on this, but I figured, you know, in order to be consistent with making tutorials on everything that I learned how to do, I said, oh, you know, I'll make it, because I just learned how to do it last night. All right, so then go and make a room, make it pretty tall, and then I'm going to carve that. Whoops, no, I'm going to make that hollow. All right, so that looks fine. And then I want to make my player start point, and then I want to make another entity and make it a, ooh, a prop dynamic. Apply that, give it a name. I'm going to name mine Catapult. Catapult. And then go over to World Model, double click on that guy, and look up Faith underscores. So we got two different types. Faith Plate 128 is the 3 1. I'm going to use the single. But you could go and alter it to the 3 1 pretty easily. So let's see. So we want to disable shadows. Yes, disable shadows. Then we want to go down and do collisions. Do not use V Physics, it is not solid. Apply. Great. Well, that's all set up. And now what I want to do is I'm going to make a bigger room in outside of my room because I'm not going to have like a whole world or whatever because I'm going to carve a little area in for my prop dynamics so it's all pretty and it has room and all that sort of stuff so do that make it hollow okay and then I'm going to go over on my top view and I'm going to reduce the size of everything by a bunch uh, one more oh that looks good that looks amazing that's the best looking I've ever seen cool Enter on that, and then carve it, delete. Now we got our space. So, there's that. Now, now what we want to do is make our target. So pretty much what the Valve's guy did, so info target, what the Valve guys did is they made it, so then you didn't really have to go and concentrate on, on um, let's see, catapult target. Catapult. Whoops. Catapult. Target. Okay. So, what the guys over at Valve did is they made it so you you didn't have to go and play around with how, what your angle is and your velocity to figure out where it's going to land. Pretty much, you just go and you say, go to this target. And then that's it. So you don't have to, um, you don't have to worry about all that. And pretty much what your velocity does, your velocity and angle, determines how, your, how the player flies through the air once they go there. If it's a real high velocity, then it's going to be a lot more of a... Uh, of a flat angle if that makes sense that means if I fly off of here with a high velocity I'll go like right there but if I go with a low velocity I'll get shot up like that so that's the big difference with that so make your trigger right above your prop dynamic where you want to go in order to activate it and then press control T and do trigger catapult don't need to give that a name and your player speed right there your physics object speed that's you know the one that controls how fast the object go the wiki the website wiki Set recommended to do it 150 more for objects, so then for shits and giggles, I'll do 600. And then go to flags, and this makes it so you can do pushables, physical objects, you know, it like you can restrict how it actually works. So go back to the class info, and you want to do the launch target to be the catapult target. Cool. So that's it. Catapult's done. Let's add a sound to it, you know, because we like sounds, and it's going to be all quiet and silent. So ambient generic, give it the name, catapult sound. And sound name, double click on that, go to game sounds. Go to game sound type, do, go to game sounds. Put in C and it's metal, C floor, car, bullet, impact. Cool. So the sound of you flying through the air is like a bullet going into a car on the C floor, I guess. And then go back to your trigger and then do outputs on catapulted. You want to do catapult and you want to set the animation and you have three different types of animations you can do you can do angled fast or straight up so I'm just gonna pick angled you know whatever angled and then add another one on catapulted catapult sound play sound Woo! so that's it there we go alright so I'm gonna I'm gonna play it now but yeah catapults are really easy I mean you know it's just, it's very straightforward. You go, you make the catapult, make a trigger, attach to a sound. They have a funk instance. I couldn't figure out how to use it. I thought this was way easier. Boom! There you go. That is all. I hope you're enlightened.